Greetings, greetings to all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do with this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you also want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. I'm back, but I'm not back. Y'all will get it later. Okay. This episode right here is something that's been going around, and it's not a question that's been this question has been going around for a few years now, but we're up to a point where things are starting to get closer and closer and closer. I'll let you tell it. Is hip hop dying? I don't know what it is, but I'm from the old school, I guess you could say, and I'm just not with all the people. There's a lot of death in the music. A lot of kids just putting death in their music, and I'm just not with that, because I just know better. So when it gets to that point where death is being the thing that's filtered out and making money for the culture, Is hip-hop music dying? As much as I'd love to deny it, the stats are saying so. 2022 marks the first decline in market share for rap music ever. So why exactly is this happening? There is a few reasons for this. One of them is my personal observation, and another one is just a fact. I think rap music is getting very, very saturated nowadays. Almost everyone and anyone is becoming a rapper. And because of that, the quality just isn't there as much anymore. Here's an example, no hate to the following artists, it's just an observation. Megan Thee Stallion has a song with Future called Pressurelicious, and it was revealed that she paid $250,000 cash for this feature. But after Future submitted his verse to her, she realized that her verses didn't really make sense with his verses, so then she went and changed her verse so it would make sense. And I think that right there is a huge problem, because now it just seems like artists are just collabing to collab. That's a fact. Facts, facts. There's no actual purpose and reason for it. And that Megan example just goes to show that these artists aren't working together on a song. They're just grabbing features, slapping them on, and putting them out hoping that they go viral. It's just not enough to have two popular names on a song. You also have certain rappers that just drop albums every single week and they're not even of quality. They're not really taking time to perfect things and craft things and make them the best that they could possibly be. They're just rapping and putting it out so they can make money. We're also losing a lot of hip hop artists that are supposed to be the leads of this generation. Pop Smoke, Mac Miller, Juice World, Take Off, XSS Tentacion. I think the art of rap music is getting lost because to me, rap music is about storytelling, sending a message. So much rap nowadays are just about drinking and smoking because it's easy and anyone can talk about these things. The genre is just very muddy right now and I hope it sees the light again. Yo, lyricism is dead. Nobody cares about lyricism anymore. Like Corday sold 21k, you gotta think about it. No, he's on the verge to sell it 21k. He ain't even sell 21k yet. Think about that. That means people hear good music, and that's the minority now. People are like listening to good music, like, ew, what is this? This guy makes good music? What like why does it sound good? Like that's how bad it is. We've gotten to a point where people want trash now. They want something that has no substance, isn't talking about anything, just can make they, they, they little booty shake. What is going on? Hip hop. And before anything, it's like, why do you have to dig for good music and everything else is right in front of your face? Why do you have to dig for good music now? Like, where did... Ugh is now something that's lucrative yeah. you cannot expect hip-hop to still prioritize the art form if you want hip-hop at its rawest mm. you can go and find it there's so many streaming platforms oh, out there you go find it. it might not be in your face but mm. it's out there mm. but if we're talking about what's getting played on radio what's selling at the o2 arena the wembley arena uh, what's selling records it's the more palatable easy nursery rhyme hip-hop it has now been one full year 
since the last time a rap song was number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Now is this at all surprising to anybody? I mean seriously, rap music is getting really played out. Rappers are discussing the same things over and over and over again, adding no creative flair to it whatsoever. And not only are they discussing the same tired subjects over and over again, but they don't add anything else to the table. All they do is rap. That's it. There's nothing else to them. They have no personalities. They don't seem like people you'd want to hang around. And all of this contributes to people really not tuning into hip hop as much anymore, or at least tuning into mainstream hip hop. Women talking about being hoes all the time. Guys talking about being drug dealers and trappers all the time. Quite frankly, hip hop needs a revival. It needs new voices to take over. And I already know, I don't care if you don't like the messengers because guess what? The messengers are the fans. The mainstream. It is stagnant right now. And if it doesn't get those new voices, the genre is gonna continue to decline. Just like America will continue to decline if it doesn't get new leadership. Just like a sports team will decline if it doesn't replace its aging stars with fresh young talent. It's time for a shift. And if you want to be a part of that shift, especially if you want some new honest shit. They sound alike, everything repetitive, same tempo. Somebody had to say it. Rap music is not what it used to be. I'm 30, so growing up we had Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, Kanye West, Jeezy, T.I. The music had rhythm and it had soul. And I'm not gonna act like the lyrics were the best back then, but at least it was different. Like, e And it's also embarrassing to see the culture and so what people would do for money and do anything for money, for any amount. Each rapper was different. Nowadays it's the same thing over and over. People talk about mollies and perks and, and drug abuse. That stuff is not cool to me. You know, maybe it's because I'm 30, but that stuff's not cool to me. No hip hop album or single has gone number one this year so far. It's already June. Ben, what's going on? Bro, is hip hop dying? Billboard is speculating that the rise of Afrobeats, K-pop, Latin music is all contributing to this. There were six number one albums up to this point last year. Six! I think a lot of the top dogs dropped last year and they're just on break this year. I don't know what's going on. Is everyone just in Turks and Caicos on vacation right now? Baby, let me take you to Caicos! I don't know who it was, but earlier I saw someone talking about how rap just fuck sucks nowadays. And everything that she said was 110% right, essentially that there's just not really any spirit in the music anymore. And to add on that, this is what I'm seeing. The biggest news in rap and hip hop today had nothing to do with rap and hip hop. It seems that Opium is on a mission to destroy everything they built the past couple years. Allegedly, they're beating women and texting people who they're not supposed to be texting. And that's where we're at right now when it comes to hip hop music. That the biggest stories that we talk about when it comes to this genre have nothing to do with the music Music itself. Now, I'm not saying when it comes to opium that those conversations are not important because they absolutely are, but it is a trend that we've been seeing so much more of where the biggest rappers or biggest stars in hip hop don't even really make music or they're not known for their music. They're known for their beefs or they're known for their drama. They're known for their fighting. They're known for the reality TV. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Go on the blogs. They're not posting about rap. They're posting about other shit. The biggest stories are about court issues or they're about breakups. Everything about God forbid music. And I know this is an older article, but I've been seeing a lot of more of these lately. A lot of people are expecting this is the beginning of the end for rap because, I mean, we're not even talking about the music anymore. No one's producing anything that catches your attention emotionally or spiritually. I started to cry. I don't know why. Or what have you. That's a fact. When was the last time we all clamored at a really, really big project that was really, really good? 2022, I think for the most part, was a pretty good year when it came to music, but it was completely overshadowed by all the drama that was going on at that time. I think from like 2013 to 2017 was probably the peak of rap, especially during the SoundCloud era because there were just so many artists and they were experimenting with so many different sounds. You just had so much to pick from. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Yeah, they were a little crazy and yeah, there's a little bit of antics, but it honestly felt like a community. It felt like everybody was on the same page. It felt like everybody was just moving within the same vibe. I don't really get that feeling anymore. Maybe it's because the underground scene isn't really what it used to be. You think hip hop is still gonna like? This is the most hateful truth. I know people are gonna kill me for me. Hip hop on its own, on the world, is having a decline. In the world? Yeah, it's having a decline. It's having a... Drake is still there. Yeah, yeah but I mean, know. Drake is the most streamed, no, 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 but no, no, I'm no, saying no, hip hop no. hip hop on its own is having a decline. That's why genres like I'm a piano, Afro beats, and thingy are coming oh, yeah. in. You get me? That's one of one of the big reasons is the whole like I always tell you, you know, like reggae music and other cultures, they bring good vibes to it. And hip hop was once known for a particular vibe that it just brought people an uplifting spirit. But now it's it's all it's like a gimme, 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 take, take, take. And 
there's really no other places in hip hop but to be a rapper to strive to look up to at these points to make money because nobody thinks about a DJ, nobody thinks about a producer. They're even getting ripped off. And everybody at these radio stations, those slots are really, it's just a podcast. Like people, because people want to hear something new, because people are tired of yeah, shooting guns, smoking the plant. You know, you get what I mean? Because the content, because the content doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. You know, so people like also being away. Like, okay, as much as we love trap, I'm a trap lover. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hip hop baby. I love trap. I love everything. You know, you get what I mean? But like, statistically. Our record labels covering up that hip hop is dying and is about to be replaced by country music. They're going to keep boosting and juicing the stream so that it appears that. What are y'all talking about? Rap's not losing steam. There's country, sure, but we're still crushing. No, you're not. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Wow. You're having to spend a lot of money to keep up the facade. That's a fact. This is. A Star is Born. What is the Lady Gaga movie? It's mm -hmm. that. A Star is Born, yeah. It's right now, the labels are doing everything they can to keep the makeup and the wig and the choreography going mm -hmm. so that it looks like shit is popping. But it's not. It's not. And how does, how does that end? Do they run out of money? No, I think it's like every genre. I think, I think bro, to be honest, once again, what it, this is, the truth is boring, right? Here's the truth. You know what it is? Four years ago, every CEO was signing every SoundCloud rapper and their cousin. You know what they're about to do? Sign every country artist and their cousin. That's a fact. There more, which was a time where I thought that everybody had money except me. Like, I was seeing us do these music video shoots, and motherfuckers got chains and cars and all type of shit. And I'm in a one bedroom apartment with four muggers. So there was a time where I was really thinking, bro, why do everybody got money and I don't got no money? Is it because I'm independent? Now, the truth is, everybody didn't have no money. Mm. But, you know, they don't tell you that because the label's job is to make it look like you got some money. We're gonna give you the car, we're gonna give you the cosigns, we're gonna, we gonna put you in the studio with this motherfucker, we're gonna have cameras following you around everywhere you go. I was thinking like, damn, everybody getting money but me, but nah, everybody look like they got money, right. me. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? All I can say when it comes to hip hop, I love hip hop, and in a selfish way, I have enough music from the past to carry on, carry me on for the rest of my life, but... There's also another side of me that says, you know, for the youth coming up and just the music that they're downloading inside of their minds and all this deaf talk, they don't see the outcomes of these situations in our past and how Biggie Smalls and all these people that mentioned deaf, Tupac, all these people that mentioned deaf so much in their music had bad outcomes. And it's sad, but the youth have to learn that, you know, putting out better music and just structuring it better, it makes it better, it gives it more value, or it'll just be throwing away music and it'll never hit the hearts of people, only the ears. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.